Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be answering your guys' questions for a good portion of this video and then I am going to show and walk you guys through how I did the little designs towards the end of the video. So I'm not going to talk too much about my application here, but I will leave links and names of colors and everything I'm using linked in the description box below for you guys. Um, and I know if you guys saw my Instagram, you guys saw when I posted the picture of the Rebel Beach collection that I was planning on doing the Q&A with that. Um, I lied and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but after just thinking about what I wanted to do with that collection, I just thought it would be better if I could talk to you guys and walk you guys through what I did. So I decided to do my Q&A with this Manny instead. <laughs> So I'm going to jump right into your guys' questions. The first one was, how long have you been doing your nails? I've been doing my nails for about two years, a little over two years. I started back in May 2018, um, and I started with a KISS. It was called the KISS Lightning Speed Dip Kit, um, and I used that for like five months. I didn't even know you could buy color powders <laughs> um, but yeah I did the sandwich technique with that it came with a spray activator your you know base liquid your, and it only came with clear acrylic dip um, and it did come with some tips so every once in a while I would do the white tips with the clear um, and then when I started doing my natural nails I would do the sandwich technique and do um, a dip of clear then I would do a couple coats of regular nail polish and then two coats of clear over top of that. Um, and I did the sandwich technique for like five months. <laughs> and then I started using Color Club that I got from Walmart and then I moved on to Sally Beauty's ASP Quick Dip Powders and then I discovered Rebel and the rest is history and here we are. So. Gosh, you guys, August 21st, I will have been on YouTube for one whole year. That is insane to me. Should I do a YouTube anniversary video? My son told me I should recreate my very first YouTube video. So you guys will have to comment and let me know. If not, tell me what you think I should do. Uh, a very special nail friend of mine keeps telling me that I need to do a YouTube live. And every time she tells me I need to do that, oh, I instantly get sweaty. <laughs> I'm so nervous about doing a YouTube Live, but let me know your thoughts on a YouTube Live. If you'd be interested, if you would tune in and watch, um, comment and let me know. So the next question I got was... Have you ever used a dip top coat as a base since they are essentially the same? I use gel top coat and I am wondering if I can put the extra top coats to good use. Some are only sold as a set. That's true. There are so many companies that don't sell their liquids individually. Um, but yes, I use dip top coat all the time as an extra base. To be 100% honest with you guys, the only time I use a dip top coat as a dip top coat is for you guys. <laughs> when I'm doing a first impressions and review type of video for you guys and I'm trying out a new set of liquids, that time you guys see me use the dip top coat, that's it. <laughs> Other than that, I use the base for you know my solid colors and then I use the dip top coat for shimmers and glitters and foil flakies and that type of stuff. So. If your favorite set of liquids are, you know, from a company that don't sell them individually, think of it as getting an extra base. Um, so yeah, you can definitely use your top coat as a base. Next question is, what made you want to start doing your own nails? This is gonna be funny. <laughs> I started doing my nails on accident. <laughs> so when my husband had to start dialysis and he was back on the transplant list you know those bills on top of 
just all of his other health related bills and normal, you know, house bills and all that stuff. It just, it was so expensive and we had to cut corners and make sacrifices. And for me, getting my nails done was the first thing to go because it just, it wasn't a necessity. Um, but I had been getting my nails done for like 15 years and my nails were just super, super thin, like paper thin from, you know, just all that filing over and over. Um, and I was kind of Googling one day during one of his treatments what I could put over my nails to make them stronger so that I could grow them out. And I had tried some, you know, different gel polishes and, you know, the gel base and the color in the top coat, it just, it wasn't enough on its own. Um, and when I was Googling, there was a link to a YouTube video for the Kiss acrylic kit that I started with. And I watched that video and I went to Walgreens and I bought one and <laughs> that's kind of how I got started. And then I started just researching more on dip powder and here we are. <laughs> so it all started with a Google search and a kiss kit. <laughs> All right, so next question is, what do you do? How often do you change your mani? Where do you come up with your designs? Um, I worked up until about four and a half years ago um, when my husband started dialysis. He went and had his treatments done in a center for about six weeks. Um, and it was just, it was so mentally hard on him to just you know, go somewhere for four and a half hours every other day. And just, it, it was depressing for him to just be around like 20 other people staring at a wall for that amount of time. And it, it just, it got to be too much on him. So we kind of sat down and had a discussion about it and decided that I would go get certified and trained to be able to do his dialysis here at the house. Um, so that's what I did. I took care of him for, you know, that four and a half years that he was on dialysis. Um, I am going back to school very, very soon. I called a cosmetology school local to me and I am going to be going on a tour soon of that school and I'm super, super excited to pursue that because doing nails and hair and all that stuff has always been something that I wanted to do since I was like nine, 10 years old. <laughs> but as of right now, I'm just a stay at home mom to my 12 year old son and my fur babies because my fur babies are my kids too. So I count them. Um, and I make all my nail videos for you guys and I absolutely love doing what I do. How often do you change your mani? I change my manis like twice a week. <laughs> and it's not even just because I want to film a bunch of videos for you guys. I mean, obviously that is definitely part of it, but it's so funny because those like 15 years that I was going to a salon and getting my nails done, I was 100% perfectly content wearing the same mani for two, three, sometimes even four weeks straight. Um, but now that I do them myself, I get bored after like three or four days and I have to change them. <laughs> Where do I come up with my designs? Um, sometimes it'll be, I'll see somebody post a picture on Instagram or Pinterest or sometimes I'll just get a new color in and think, oh, that would make for a really good like tree design or flower design or you know some kind of stamp or marble something i don't know sometimes it just hits me um sometimes i'll see one of your guys's pictures posted on instagram because i follow a bunch of you on instagram and i don't know i get inspiration from everywhere <laughs> marla chris inspires me a lot too i get a lot of inspiration from her. She is incredible. Next question is what are your favorite dip powders and liquids? Oh, 
dip liquids as of right now my current favorite virgo and gem hands down hands down favorite favorite base even their top coat y'all know i'm a gel top coat kind of girl but her dip top coat is outstanding um it's kind of hard for me to pick a favorite dip powder because i like different brands for different reasons um Panda dips, I just love because they're super creamy and buttery. Um, but as far as like glitters, if I want like a crazy out of the box glitter, I tend to go towards all powdered up. If I want a really good black, I do Into the Night by Triple D. Um, just because it hits all those check marks for me. It doesn't stain, it doesn't have a gray or blue or purple or brown undertone to it. Um, it's just so good. Um, but I have different powders that I like for different reasons. So if at any point you guys are looking for a good brand for a dip powder, like you're looking for a certain glitter or you know solid color, definitely shoot me a DM and I will help you out best I can. Um, I Gel Beauty, their dip and dap powders that I'm using in this video, I love them so much. Their um, flat colors and their shimmers are incredible. I just got a couple of their glitter, their hollow chrome glitter powders, um, but I haven't tried them yet, but I'm sure they're probably amazing too. So I'm going to use those in a video coming up soon too, so you guys will see how their glitters are. All right, so next question. This is a lot of questions in one. <laughs> I probably already, yeah, I already answered one of them. She wrote, I would like to know what all your favorites are. Powders, gels, dip liquids, gel top coats, decal stickers, etc." So I'm going to answer that question first. Um, already answered the dip liquids and the powders. As far as gels go, um, I really, really like the Eye Gel Beauty gels. They're incredible. You guys are going to see a video on those soon, too. Um, Nail Addict has some pretty amazing gel polishes. But as far as best bang for your buck, definitely try Eye Gel. Um, last I checked, they're still having their sale, but they moved it from 60% to 50% off. Um... And I wish I could have been able to get a date for when that ends, but I couldn't find it anywhere. It just says 50% off 4th of July sale. And even though it's not 60%, 50% is still good. Oh, and they did actually give me a discount code for their site. So I'm going to start linking that in my videos for you guys too. It's not eligible with any of their sales. If they have a sale going on, you can't use it. Um, but when they're not having a sale, if there's anything you want to order from iGel, I do have a code that will save you at least a couple bucks. Um, she asked what my favorite gel top coat is. Hands down, iGel Beauty. Hands down. I'm so in love with their No Cleanse gel top coat. It does not yellow. I have not experienced any chipping. Um, it stays super, super shiny and glossy, and it's not too thick and it's not too thin it's like the perfect consistency I literally did like two manis with that top coat and immediately went and ordered the just full like refill bottle of the no cleanse gel top coat um, my favorite decals and stickers are definitely Poshi um, I haven't done a video on them yet but I will be very soon um, and it's not even going to be like a review video. I'm just going to use them for a mani. But they're incredible and their designs are so, so, so neat and unique. I love them. So definitely Poshy. Um, stickers? I haven't really played around with nail stickers, but I probably should. Where do I get my inspiration from? Uh, Pinterest, Instagram, you guys, Marla Chris. <laughs> Where and how do I store and organize all my nail supplies? I ask because I'm very quickly running out of space and haven't even received my eye gel order of 50 plus items. <laughs> um, I honestly 
Okay, so our spare room used to be our huge dialysis room and about a month ago when I was finally ready to kind of go through stuff and clean stuff out, um, I kind of turned that whole room into my nail room and I use our computer desk as my nail table. Um, so that holds my liquids and a bunch of stuff. And then I ordered a cart off of Amazon that holds all my tip powders. I will actually leave the link for that cart in the description box for you guys too. So if you guys are looking for something like that, you can definitely check that out. Um, I plan on doing a nail room tour mini video um, in the upcoming future. Well, if you guys want to see, you guys let me know if you want to see something like that. Um, how did I get started doing my nails? Answer that. What kind of dog do you have and do you have any pictures? Yes, I will definitely include a picture. Here is my baby. His name is Wonder. He is my almost nine-year-old Border Collie. Um, who has arthritis in his hind end, but as soon as he gets his pain meds in the morning, he turns right back into a three-year-old little pup and just wants to play fetch all day long. <laughs> um, do you have any other pets? Yes, I have two crazy kitties, so I will, of course, include a picture of them too. Can't post one baby without the other. So the kitten is my son's cat. His name is Zero, named after my son's favorite Tim Burton movie. Um, and then the older one is Kit Kat. Um, so those are my fur babies. And then she says, I believe I remember you saying you have a son. How old is he? Sorry for all the questions. I love your video and I'm just so excited for your Q&A. Yes, I have a son. His name is Gabe. Uh, he is 12 years old, going on 37. <laughs> but he is such an old, old soul. There are times I have to, like, catch myself and be like, don't talk to him like a grown man. He's only 12. <laughs> but he really is an old soul. Like, he, his favorite song is American Woman. And he loves Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and Metallica and all that old school type of good music <laughs> all right so I had another question how long did it take you to get comfortable with your e-file I recently bought one but it felt so uncomfortable to use especially on my non-dominant hand um, I'm gonna actually reach out to you and message you and see what you mean by uncomfortable when I think of uncomfortable um, the one e-file I've worked with that I really did not like, it was a real high vibration to it. And when I took it, you know, and was using it on my nails, the vibration went like up my forearm. It was so incredibly uncomfortable. So I'm going to message you and ask you about that. The last question I got was, do you find that cuticle oil makes your mani not last as long? And do you only apply one coat of peel base? Um, oil doesn't affect the longevity of my manis. And I will do one coat of peel base if I'm doing it over my natural nail. I do two coats if I'm doing it over tips or clear acrylic. But stay tuned because I did just film last week an updated peel base video for you guys. So keep an eye out for that coming very soon. All right, so I kind of timed that perfect. <laughs> that was all of the questions. You guys will have to let me know if you liked the Q&A type of video. If you'd want me to do another one in the future, comment and let me know. So now I'm going to get into the stamping portion of this video and I'm just gonna say I love how this Manny turns out <laughs> so this is the June Maniology subscription box um, I'll leave details for it down below and a lot of people probably got excited about like the mermaids and stuff but we are a shark loving family in this house and hammerheads are my favorite 
shark ever and I squealed when I saw this stamp right here. It's all hammerheads. Oh, I love it so much. So I applied the polish that came with the sub box. It's called Shark Bait. And I just wanted to give this design a little bit of depth. So I'm going in and doing one stamp with the lighter shade of blue. And then I'm just going to clean off my stamping plate real quick. And then I'm gonna go in with a color called Teardrop. And I am stamping the way that I would normally stamp. I am just kind of turning the stamper around on my nail so that the second layer of these sharks is gonna go swimming in the opposite direction of how the first layer of sharks went. I don't know, I just, I love how this turns out. I really, really, really do. So I'm just facing them a different direction so that kind of looks like there are some sharks down in the bottom of the ocean and then these ones are kind of swimming on the surface a bit. And I just go back in if I need to and add a couple little extra sharkies here and there, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I went ahead and just cleaned off around my cuticle area with some acetone and I let my stamp designs dry for a good 10 minutes before I go in with my gel top coat. If you have a smudge free top coat, you could definitely go ahead and do that. But I find that just waiting, you know, five or 10 minutes works fine for me. I've never experienced any smudging since I've started just giving them time to dry. But for now, I'm going to let you guys watch me continue to top coat my nails because this is the longest voiceover I've done in a video and I'm sure you guys are probably tired of my voice by now. So I will let you guys continue to watch and I'll be right back here in a bit. is cured and done and I love it so so much I love these little sharks so I'm going to finish up this mani like I do all my manis with some candy skincare cuticle oil and since I did a ocean theme mani I figured it was only fitting that I do the tropical eye scent that smells like Hawaiian tropic sunscreen and smells so good <laughs> I don't know I see a bunch of people do mermaid designs and I wanted to do something different and I'm not a big girly girly mermaidy girl <laughs> so I did some sharks may not be everybody's style but I love these so much you guys will have to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section um, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see me do um, thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys